uh, I have an organization, as I mentioned, called Giving Business Soul. And so what I do ultimately is I mentor flow states. So um, flow states is something that um, is something that is very researched by science. It's actually one of the most researched topics right now. It has been over the last couple of decades because flow states are it's a, the scientific definition at this point is an optimized state of consciousness where we feel and perform at our best. <clears throat> And productivity measured by science goes up 500%. Learning goes up 240%. Creativity goes up 600%. And so, and so, so we have in our biology the ability to tap into these states. And people talk about flow, and they, but, but, but there's actually a scientific process to get in here. You can't just like wake up and kind of be in flow. There's a, there's a process to get yourself in there. And so, as I mentioned earlier, like I really believe that that entrepreneurs hold the key to unlocking the greatest challenges on the earth, right? And why is that? Because it because business is the dominant power structure on our planet at the moment. Okay, hasn't always been like that. If you want to see who's got the most amount of power in our society, who's where the centralization of power resides. You got to look at who's got the largest buildings. The largest buildings represent the concentration of power. At the very beginning of time, the kingdoms represented the largest buildings. And at that time, kings and queens held the most amount of power. As we progressed, all of a sudden, the churches became the largest. And at that time, the priests and the popes were directing traffic for us. And then with more time, the capital state buildings of states and countries became the largest. And at that time, politicians and presidents were governing our mind. <laughs> and now the largest buildings belong to who? To business, right? So it's the first time in human history that we don't have to belong to a damn bloodline to shift the power structure. Right, because we are all entrepreneurs. We're experiencing the third industrial revolution with a laptop and a phone. We're entrepreneurs. So we can just shift the way that we show up. And by shifting the way that we show up, we can we the, the, the power structure is now malleable. So so th that's why I'm I'm really passionate about flow states and, and, and democratizing this understanding of high performance. And not from like just drink caffeine and just go and crush it. You know, it's like there's a scientific process that you can use that ultimately can expand your consciousness. And so this this here is the map of consciousness. For those that don't know it, you should look it up. You should Google it. Put it on a centerpiece somewhere where you can see it all the time. What this is, is essentially uh, the map of consciousness that has literally been sort of uh, brought forward by Hawkins, who was a doctor. And essentially he mapped out all the, the, the vibration of all the human emotions from the very lowest to the very highest, right? If you see there at the very bottom, you got stuff like shame, guilt, apathy, fear, desire, anger, pride, right? This is where the majority of the human population resides. This is what you would call the survival state of consciousness, otherwise known as the matrix, right? In the movie, The Matrix, if you guys all remember, right? What, what, what was Morpheus telling Neo is like, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it, you can't taste it, you can't feel it, you can't see it. It's a vibrational cage, right? Most people are, are, are vibrating here somewhere, right? Because of old wounding traumas that have occurred, no, no fault to, to, to us, not not only does love bind all humans, but all suffering binds us. We're destined to go through suffering, but it's also our work and our work only to transmute that darkness back into light, to transmute that trauma into wisdom. You know, all things are by perfect design in, in God's hand, you know, and, and the wisdom, the, the, the wounds is where your wisdom is. There's a great poet by the name of Rumi. He says, it is through the wound, it is through the wound that the light will enter you. It is through your wound that the light will enter you, 
right? And so what I help people do is 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 move out of that 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 matrix, that low vibrational field, and move into the higher state, right? That higher state being that of 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 courage, you know, being that of neutrality, willingness, and to essentially raise the bar for us, right? And 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 I teach it through the modalities of flow states. Um, you know, Anthony, I think when we met, we, I, I took people through a breath work. We do that every Monday at 9 a.m. The invitation is definitely to, to join us. It's virtual. You can just go to flowmondays.com. You can register right there. You'll get the email reminders, flowmondays.com. The Bernasso, Jim Bunch is actually on there every Monday now since Texas. <laughs> and, um, and it's from nine to 10. And we get you guys into a flow state. We have a, a specific breath sequence we do, and it just sort of cleans all the emotions out and gets us into the higher state. And it moves us into that flow state. And um, and and you can tune in every single Monday. And that's that's a that's a, a process. Like it's called flow hacking, flow hacking, right? But at the deeper level, what I do teach. It is is an emotional technology, a spiritual technology to transform your consciousness. And, and, and I do that through my understanding of, of spiritual psychology, of, of a wisdom called the gene keys, uh, which is which is a wisdom that speaks directly to your DNA and, and unlocks your genius within the DNA, because that's where God resides. Your genius all the great teachers, all the great avatars, Jesus, Buddha, they're, they're all saying, hey, it's in here, guys, not out there. The cultures, the religions have that they, 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 they hoodwinked us and said, hey, focus out in the heavens. They hoodwinked us. The truth of the matter is that the kingdom of God is here. That's what Yeshua was saying. Hey, it's right here. We had to unlock it. And you unlock it. Imagine, imagine your, your genius, your God code, your specific light is stored within the body. And it's and it's down below all of the wounding, and once once you have the frameworks to really begin to understand the way the mechanics of consciousness work, and how you are getting feedback from all your disturbances that you're having, this is where you can begin the evolutionary process. And I and I take people through a round table. It's about 15 hours of, of distilled content of how all of this came to be how I created everything on the dirt floor and ultimately came into the understanding of, of the flow state. So, and, it, and it's profound wisdom. I mean, I can't, I don't know how to put it. Otherwise it's kind of like this idea. How do you describe to somebody how chocolate tastes? You just can't, you just got to come and taste it. Uh, we move now. This is the first year that we move people through it. The design just came out. So this was the first year we've come out with it. I've only moved about 120, 130 people. The Bernassos were one of them. Janice Adams is another one. Rick Joseph, another one. But we're working on trying to figure out how we weave this together with power because Jim Bunch, Jonathan Budd, these guys are giants in consciousness. The only reason that they're able to do what they've done is they transform their consciousness, right? And it's through an evolutionary process that we can all do the same. You know, you can do some plant medicine. That's cool. But the reality, the real ceremony is in life. Life is always giving us the material we it needs for evolution. These things are not happening to us. They're happening for us, but we just don't see it. We don't have the lenses. We don't have the frameworks. And that's what we do is we give you the frameworks to unlock you. I'm looking to, I'm looking to unlock as many entrepreneurs as, as, as possible, you know, and really begin to, to move the needle on the earth in a big, big way. So that's a little bit about me, Francisco Hara. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, a little bit about Giving Business Soul and the organization. I think Anthony posted a couple of, of links there. Uh, but I, if you guys want, I mean, I have, a, I got a, maybe about ten more minutes. If you guys have any questions that I that I might be able to answer, or any anything that is intriguing. How did that all land? I know that's like a that's like a fire hydrant zone. <laughs> No, that was that was great for sure. I I have something that I, I wanted to to ask. I know um, at the power dinner they had the presentation of the building the home. What happened, you know, with everyone and and obviously it's it's you know there, there's a change obviously and you can see it right. And uh, these are people that obviously we've known for a long time and worked closely with. And you just see something obviously click for them. 
uh myself and Bo looked at each other we're just like dude we should just like besides a contest besides this besides that we should be involved in this somehow uh, separate of power separate of this yeah. separate of church separate of whatever just that we do need to give back because obviously there's a common trend with people that are the most successful most happy they're giving back the most yeah um so uh how would we kind of get involved with that yeah um if it so there's we, you could do it through prosperity homes okay. um you can go to prosperityhomes.org that's that's the philanthropic arm of what we're doing um okay. and and you know those are limited builds too so there's also so if you can imagine there's an organization called baja bound so they're the ones that actually had the existing infrastructure already down there it's called baja bound and so what we just did is we just sort of, you know, put Prosperity Homes to be the vehicle to funnel into Baja Bound because we were not about to create, you know, the infrastructure down there and all that. We just wanted the the vehicle to get us down there and to have a philanthropic funnel. Yeah. And so, so you can check out those two. And I'll tell you this, the, the, the ancients would say that, that the fastest way to burn your karma is to go be in service. Go be in service. Like that's, that's what all the greats were telling us. Like, go be with the sick and the poor. Yeah. Go out and see the suffering for yourself, right? Let it break your heart open, right? Because what the human race needs is for your heart to be broken open. We need the tears that I say, the tears are the most sacred waters on the planet, you know, and we need, we need to allow those to just move and to break us open because when it breaks us open, all we want to do is we want to relieve the whole. We want to relieve the right. suffering of our brothers and sisters. And, and, and what starts to happen, what, what starts to happen is that there's a providence that starts to surround you. I'll give you this final frame just so you guys can see this. Money oh, yeah. is energy. Okay. Money is energy. We all know that. We all recognize that. Right. How, how, you know, and, and money currently has a, the, the frequency of fear attached to it. Because because as, as a species, we're always meant to fear something biologically. And, it, and it's how we evolve. If we didn't fear death, we wouldn't we wouldn't propagate and create more of us and, and, and you know, and, and have meant sure that we would survive as a species. But now that there's eight billions of us, that fear has to be attached to something else. And now it's attached to money. Right. Money is if I ask people, are you afraid to die? It's like, yeah. Are you afraid to be with no money? It's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, there's an immediate recoil, right? So, so, so we, so, so the new death is money and, and the lack of it. And, and also because everything in our world has, has a vibration based on how we relate to it, right? When most people relate to Jesus as an example, you know, it's out of love and compassion and, you know, all these beautiful emotions. So, so anytime you're in the presence of a statue of Jesus, like it's got a nice vibration to it. But but because, you know, half of the population goes off at two dollars a day, essentially money has a fear vibration attached to it. Right. And, and, and so and so and so just kind of keep that in mind. So so think about yourself as a toroidal field. You know, Tesla says we're energy, vibration and frequency. And so we have a toroidal field. And so when we make money. Right. And if we make it by just neuro-linguistic programming, you know, and always be closing, there's an energetic signature tied to the money, okay? And, and when it enters our vessel, when it enters our toroidal field, it comes with a specific vibration. And then when we give it out, if we, if we ah, shit, I shouldn't be spending this, or, ah, oh, it's not, uh, you know, you know, and, and all of a sudden, so now, now we're creating a, a very specific frequency. The two most common words in the Bible, God and money. 3,900, 2,300 times. So money is crucial. But when you understand the energetics of it, right? It's like when, if we're making it by, 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 you know, just always be closing and just always be selling and all that, you know, hoopla, then it's got a frequency. And then when we give it out in shame and guilt, Imagine you give it, you make it with, with love through service, you know, really wanting to help humanity. Now, when it enters you, it's got a different vibration to it. And then, and then when we give it out, we give it out in, in love, in acceptance and in, in willingness and in compassion, 
you know, all of a sudden what starts to happen is that a, an energetic field starts to get formed around us. And so when we, when we donate, when we, when we, when we do philanthropy, it starts to create a providence. It starts to create a providence that surrounds you. If you look up that word providence, it's, it's an, it's an, it's an energy of nature or God that starts to surround you. It's like good fortune. And I've seen it, you know, I've done 30 something builds. It's like, People are out there. It's like, man, I just all of a sudden this client called and I just closed this deal and all this stuff just happened and blah, blah, blah. Because you're doing God's work, you know, you're doing the soul's work, you know, and, and, and when you start to do that, it's something really beautiful. So one of the one of the big takeaways is start to, to frame money in that way, how you make it, how you give it and understand that that creates a geometry and that geometry starts to bring. Uh, it's like it's like the universe begins to self-organize itself differently around you and then you start to bring in the right allies the right people the right clients everything is magnetic and when we're when we're frequency or are low it's like we get hard clients this and that but all of a sudden you start to shift that man it becomes really elegant and it's like it becomes very easy very graceful and it's like it's like magic it's like magic so awesome. hey anthony thank you man for your time everyone thank you for listening to me i know i know it's always a very weird thing to, you know because my concepts are a little bit strange but if you liked what you heard follow me on instagram um that's my main page right now and if you're intrigued and want to find out more i have a flow workshop coming up november 2nd here in southern california and claremont as well um but if you want to learn more at least join us for flow mondays and if you guys want to dive deeper I'd say come into the round table fellowship. I can I can I can take you wherever you want to go.